Hey guys, what's up? We're uh, back in American Truck Simulator. Um, it's actually the same day as our last uh, episode. Um, still having kind of a shit day. So I decided to uh, pop into uh, American Truck Simulator and see if uh, I can't lose myself and my sorrows and the American Northwest, Southwest, Southwest, sorry. So uh, we're in the middle of a job. We're just gonna uh, go do it. Um, we, uh, we, did, we did make the hard parking uh, job, although it was only, I think, a 40 XP. Um, we hit level nine in the last episode and uh, we picked up this uh, this flammable trailer here, uh, load, which is, uh, well, you know, flammable. Um, this is our first uh, hazardous load that we've uh, picked up. Looks like we need to make a right turn out of here, I think. We have to shift because, of course, we are still doing the, uh, what? Oh, my parking brake's engaged. <laughs> um, so, yeah. We are really going to endeavor not to uh, hit anything on this trip. Wow, this thing is long, dude. <laughs> Another Michael Scott moment for you. Um, we are going to... really uh, endeavor not to hit anything due to the fact that uh, this is a, a, a flammable two hazardous substance we're uh, hauling here. Yes. All right, well, let's, uh, without further ado, let's get on the road. Um, it is five o'clock in the morning and uh, that should make for a, a nice uh, sunrise this episode, uh, hopefully. Don't see why not. Yeah, it looks like we get on the uh, highway right up here. Uh, probably shift up a couple gears. We're gonna be slowing back down anyway. This nice and wide. Keep our eye on our mirrors. And I think we got it. Now we just want to uh, get up to speed here. Hopefully, we don't get in an accident getting on. Looks like we're good. I don't remember where we're going. As soon as I finish uh, shifting here, I'll check. I'm focusing right now on the shifting, actually. Um, trying to get going faster than 44 miles an hour, ideally. Still not really that comfortable, uh, although, you know, we're doing it here. Still not like a hundred percent sure what um, you know where's the right time to shift I guess is what I'm trying to say let's turn the cruise on and I think we can just shift up to our highest gear then because we're, we're already going at speed yeah so all right well, so my, sh my shitty day has continued. I think I uh, talked a little bit in the last episode about how I uh, tried to take my, uh, my e-bike, my electric bike, out for a bike ride this morning and uh, popped the rear tire uh, halfway to my destination and I had to call a lift and uh, then get my car and drive back to where the bike was locked up and get it in my car. And 
take it to the bike shop to get the tire, the, the inner tube changed, which I don't really know how to do. I mean, I, I do, but uh, I'd rather just pay somebody. I figured while I was there, I'd have them, uh, you know, adjust the shifting and the brakes because, you know, I put this thing together and well, I'm pretty handy, but I don't know that much about uh, bike mechanics. You know, this thing has disc brakes. I've never worked with those before. So, you know, figured, you know, why not, you know, make lemonade and have them, you know, uh, give it the give it a, a once over and just uh, get everything adjusted up nice. And uh, they did it super fast. They called me like, you know, an hour and a half later or so. And we're like, hey, your bike's ready. And uh, so and I was like, well, how am I? You know, I, I, I didn't leave the battery with them. They said they didn't need it. Uh, they were just going to test it on the rack, you know, and, and the stand. And uh, so I still had my battery and, you know, the bike place is, I don't know, a mile, mile and a quarter away. I decided to put the battery in my backpack and just hoof it over there, just walk uh, to pick up the bike. So I did that and, you know, it was a little hot, but it was fine. It was a good walk. And, uh, you know, put on my headphones and just jammed out some Stevie Wonder. Uh, nobody funks like Stevie. And uh, so I get there and I pick up the bike and they only charge me 35 bucks for everything, which I thought was pretty fair. And I take it outside and I put the battery on it and I get on it and I start to ride it and the motor is just making a horrible noise. Like it's vibrating and it sounds like gears are grinding. I wasn't sure it was the motor at first, but uh, I got off and I looked at it and trying to throttle and it's just, you know, something clearly is not right. So I take the bike back into the shop. You know, I was still right there. And I'm hoping there's just something you know, second set of eyes. These guys know more about, you know, it's a, they don't know anything about electric bikes necessarily, but they know more about bikes in general. So, you know, the guy's helping me look at it. We, you know, it doesn't look like anything's wrong from a bike standpoint with anything. Everything looks pretty normal. But, you know, still there's something just wrong with the motor. So, uh, you know, I didn't feel right wasted too much of this guy's time when it was, you know, pretty obviously an electrical, you know, it's an, I mean, some kind of, you know, electromechanical problem, not something he worked on, although, I mean, it's something he touched, but, you know, I can't say that he broke it, you know, it's a pretty reputable bike shop I went to, so I, I really don't think, you know, certainly they didn't do anything on purpose to it, and, you know, honestly, I, I doubt they did anything to it. Um, so I don't know what happened. I don't know if it got damaged when I blew out the tire. I, 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 it's hard for me to believe that that's the case because, uh, I don't know. I mean, I pulled over right away. I didn't really ride it at all once the tire blew, and the tire blew fast. It was a catastrophic failure. I'm not sure what happened. If I hit, ran over something sharp or pinched it or what. But, uh, you know, all of a sudden it was just empty, so I stopped. Um, all in all, uh, bummer of a day. I emailed the company that I bought the bike from, described my problems, and asked them, you know, if they have any ideas. I mean, it should still be under warranty, but I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it, so I don't know if it'll be covered by the warranty. I would hope that it is. I mean, I, I treated this bike well. I haven't, you know, I've got like maybe 250 miles on it, which is, you know, not nothing, but it's not a ton for a bike. Should be good for a lot more than that, certainly. So, I don't know. Pretty, pretty bummed out, really. This bike was expensive. I just got it in March. I've really been enjoying it, you know. It's great. 
Well, you probably didn't tune in to uh, hear me ramble on about my uh, personal problems, so, well, I don't know why you would turn in just in general, though, so maybe you did. Maybe that's what makes, uh, maybe that's the key to making these uh, interesting. I was thinking about that. Uh, talked a little bit about why I'm making these videos, you know, and how it's not really necessarily for people to watch although you know I mean if, if you're watching that's awesome but you know I'm not I'm not judging my success on you know whether I get views here because uh, really what I'm trying to do is just learn how to make content on YouTube of various kinds let's plays and other you know things on the computer being one category that I'd like to explore uh, And uh, I was thinking about what, uh, so that's why I'm making them. I was thinking about why you might be watching them. It's a, not an obvious uh, answer to that question, really. Maybe, uh, you know, the answer is, you know, just you're not and you never will be. And there isn't a good reason for anybody to watch. Um, which is fine if that's if that's the case. I, I don't have a, a real problem with it. Um, I really want to pass these guys. I don't want to break the law if I don't have to. A little faster than uh, the speed limit here with my flammable two hazmat load. Uh, don't want a ticket though. I really don't want a ticket. So let's uh, let the cruise take back over here. I think we can just overtake this guy at our cruise speed. I know people are getting pissed off behind me probably. So yeah, why would anybody watch the, these videos? Uh, I'm not uh, certainly ever going to be the best at playing any of these games. I, I don't think. Give it a little more gas. Um, talked at length about how I don't really feel like I'm all that great at video games, really. Um, I cannot get by this guy. He's like going the exact same speed as me, and I, I can't get going any faster, it seems. If I shift down, let's see if we can get a little passing power by downshifting. There we go. Hopefully we don't get popped for speeding. I just gotta get around this guy, man. Seriously, dude. Alright. And then he would have just got over anyway. <laughs> well, who knew? Um, yeah, so why would anybody watch? Uh, you know, I'm not sure if the commentary is interesting. I've been watching, and I, you know, I think I, I crack a funny one here and there. Um, I am sharing my honest, you know, thoughts and impressions about whatever I'm talking about. Uh, and I think I have an okay personality, but I don't know if it's really uh, warrants, you know, tuning in for. Uh, oh God, dude, why are you doing that? Because I didn't downshift and now I'm going slow. That's why. Yeah, sorry, I had to focus on my uh, my gearbox there. For a second, I really lost a lot of speed going up that hill. And now I'm going to try to use the gear, the gearbox. This is uh, some 
a kind of intense driving here, guys. I had to interrupt my previous train of thought there for a second here just to focus on the driving. It's so quiet when the, when the engine's not on. I think that the game noise is less loud in these videos uh, than it is for me and my headphones. Um, doing that on purpose, I, I think it's more important to be able to hear what I'm saying, even though what I'm saying is not that important. Um, I got to get over. I almost missed my turn there. We got to shift down. All right, uh, no, we aren't turning. That was not the smoothest uh, freeway exit we've ever uh, pulled, but that's okay. We're very close to our destination. This was a quick one. I think we took it on purpose, hoping that we could make it before we had to sleep. I think that was the, uh, was the idea. Hundred and nine degrees outside, is that what that's saying? Or is that my engine temp? Eighty-six degrees outside and hundred and nine is my engine temp maybe? That's my guess. time with my speed here. Hard to talk when I'm concentrating this much. Sorry. Um, I'm really just shifting a lot uh, to try to... Uh, you can see what gear I'm in if you're interested. It's in the... Uh, the HUD there in the top row, kind of next to my speed. I'm in eighth gear right now, now I'm in nine. Ten. I'm just watching my RPMs there, which is to the left of the speedo. Fast. Set the cruise. Let's uh, shift into neutral and turn off the cruise because we are making a right here. That was our first yawn. So, homeboy's getting tired. That's just fine though because we are turning here. It's just. Uh, we got to shift into gear in order to actually move. This is the way it works. All right. Um, Challenging. Oh, that guy hit me. He ran into me. Ah, I was over the line, though. God, dog it. Oh, well. We didn't blow up. So there's that. Oh, this is it. 
Okay. Man, right at the end, we got in that little accident. How did we... So we just damaged the cab. We didn't damage the, uh, I think... And we took probably a got a fine, too. I didn't see. But, uh... I think we didn't, um... Damage the cargo, at least. So it could be worse. Could be worse. This is, like, a chemical plant. This is interesting. Pretty sure we've never been here before. I don't think we have. Oxnard discovered. I guess we have not. Okay, well, let's take a look. This is a 90 pointer. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'll uh, make a note to uh, edit out. I just coughed there. Uh, at uh, 2111. Okay. Sorry, I just coughed there. Um, edited it out uh, so you don't have to listen to that. We're going to give it a shot and if we can't do it, we'll just uh, you know, take a pass. Uh, so let's do this. It's somewhere over here to the right. So, so I think we probably want to pull forward and then back in there around the corner and then around that corner. And this is going to be a tough one. We'll give it a quick shot here. I, I don't know, like, with this hazardous waste or hazardous material that we're transporting, you know, like, really what the, uh, plenty of time left on the job itself. It's good. Um... Okay. Well... Oh, stop. Um, so, we want to pick up our wheelbarrow and push it to the right, which means we got to turn this way, I believe. Give it a little gas. See what happens. Wait a second. That's not the way we want it to go. Straighten that back out. I want to undo that. Hold on. Okay. Um, I think I actually wanted to go the other way, right? Because we want to actually, yeah, we want to push to the right. So we want to go to the left. We want because we want the wheelbarrow to go to the left. That's what we want. Um, So I'm not going to make it where I wanted to make it. That might be okay though. So I was hoping to get in this nearer, you know, side thing here. It doesn't look like that's going to happen, but I can get it back here without too much hassle it looks like. If the camera would work with me here. Follow it around. Then I kind of want to start turning it this a ways, I think. Wait a second. Um, yeah, this a ways. Wait, no, that's not the way I wanted to do it. Dang it. All right, let's straighten it out. Let's just straighten it out, I think, is a pretty good plan here.
Okay. We are pretty straight. Now I want to start angling it. I want to do a gentle arc around and to the left as we're looking at it there, I think. So that then I can come around. Yeah, this is a tough one. All right, well, so I want to get the cab over here, I think, right? Um, ooh, hold on. Yeah, now we're getting tired. No. No, I want the cab on the other side. Yep. Hard to talk here when we're, we're concentrating like this. I apologize again. If we get this in here, we're gods. Literal gods. could get over here now. Which is where we were trying to get before. Which might be advantageous. Let's see if we straighten up here. What do we got? You know, man, this looks sort of doable. This is the way we want to go. I'm going to turn it pretty severely. room here. Hmm. Ooh. I know my guy's tired. I'm gonna quit this in a second here if we can't get this. Hmm. Once again, I just feel like we're close, but no cigar. Like, we almost got in there. It's... Well, you know, our guy's tired, and I'm, I think I'm uh, kind of sick of this, too. So, I, how do we get our... Uh... Up, up, up. Uh... Okay. 
Why is it not letting me quit the job now, guys? There we go. All right. Well, we got an excellent. We got some good XP. And uh, what are you going to do? We tried. We got close. You know, like that last... Again, like if I just had a slightly better line, I think, coming in there, I would have had it. So, uh, we are at just at 30 minutes. So let's uh, call this an episode. I'm going to go uh, cry about my bike. Um, and uh, still having a good time. Uh, so there will be a next time. And we'll see you then on American Truck Simulator. Click like or subscribe if you enjoy the video. Or uh, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.